Have you ever wondered how you could create YouTube video thumbnails with the use of AI? Now, with a YouTube video thumbnail, a good one, I mean a really good one, you're gonna get more clicks because you're gonna, more people will be clicking and seeing your videos. Your videos will be much more noticed on YouTube. And that means that overall your videos will be much more viewed. Now, how can we achieve that? Now, let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at the video, set of videos from Matt Wolfie. Now, he's doing an exceptionally good job at demoing AI videos and AI technologies and all that. And he even has a, te a method on how to create these thumbnails. Now, I think we found a more easy way to do that. And that's why I'm recording this video. So a good YouTube video thumbnail has three elements. First, it has the face of the author or the person that is speaking on camera. Second, it has a bright colorful background that gets your attention and third it has a short relevant text and i'm going to show you how to create all of these with the help of ai now my big challenge with thumbnails is that i just hate shooting images and just editing them and all that and it would be much much nicer if i could do that all that work with the help of AI. Now, let me show you a couple of results that I was able to achieve. Uh, let me show you some good ones because these are experiments. So yeah, I think this is a really good one. I think this is the picture of me back when we were in the battle of, uh, I don't know what place. Um, there were battleships and axes and Vikings and all that. And yeah, I had some tattoos, but yeah, anyway, so I think this is pretty close to, uh, yeah, I think this is also really good. And yeah, this is the original image. We created an original image like this, and then we face swapped my face onto it. Now, I'm going to show you now the most easy way that you can create uh, an image with kind of yourself with AI. Now, the tool that I'm using is called Mid Journey. Mid Journey, it's the best, I think right now, the most advanced and best image generation tool out there. Now, you need to install it and so on. So I'm not going to show the entire process of how you install it. There are other tutorials on this. But um, what I want to show you is the process. First, I'm going to show you the most easy way to create an image with uh, yourself. So first you can upload an image. So I'm going to just upload this image, hit return, and it's going to be uploaded. Good. And then I'm going to just right click on the image and copy its link. Next, I'm going to click on the forward slash and click on imagine. Good. I'm going to paste in the link that I've copied from this image. I hope you're still following me. I hope you're still there. Okay. Now, the next step is to add a cool prompt. So I'm going to just copy paste this prompt from my other, from my other one. And uh, I'll paste in, I mean, I'm going to give you the prompt also in the description of this video. Let's, let's delete this part. It didn't work. So what we have here, it's a Viking warrior, bald, obviously. S sur surprised, not surprised. Cyberpunk male, close up portrait, looking at the camera. I want it looking at the camera, so it's not looking left or right. Ultra realistic 4K. And this is very important because we want this as a video thumbnail so it has to have the right resolution so two minuses AR space 16 by 9 so I'm gonna give you this little snippet so you can just copy paste it I'm gonna hit return and this is going to create an image of a Viking warrior that will look kind of similar to my face and this is the fastest way and it's not going to be the best way. I'll show you the best way in a couple of seconds. But I just want to show you, if, if you're in a hurry, and 
you want something done, this is going to do the job for you in a couple of seconds, okay? So, we are waiting to start. Yeah, still waiting a little bit. 15%. And this is the thing with mid-journey, you, you still have to wait. And what can you do in this time? I don't know. I could tell you a story, but I don't have those ex interesting stories in the back of my mind. Almost there. So there you have it. Oh, almost. Almost. Yeah, now we have it. Finally ready. Let's click on these images and let's see what we have. And you tell me if they are similar to me. Are they, you could say they are similar because they have blue eyes, they have um, a blondish beard, bald head and so on, but they kind of are the same human niche characteristic on on that I have, but they are not me. They are not. They don't have the same facial uh, characteristics and face facial structures. What should I say here? Yeah. So basically, they are not me. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So yeah, you could use any of these images if if they're good enough. Sometimes you get lucky and bam, it 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 produces an image that is similar to you and that you're good with and then you're done but if it's not the case which which is most of the times then you need a sway face swap app so let me show you the result so you are playing here with with this so for example i created this image and then I just sway, face swapped myself onto it. And look look at the result. I think this is really cool. This looks really good. And it has kind of my facial, my nose. Yeah, you can see my nose is pretty similar. The ears, I have big ears like that. Yeah, probably. Oh, I didn't notice. So, um, then how can we do that? To do that, to do, uh, create an image not like this, but like the one that I showed you, there are a couple of steps. Step number one, you want to create your own server. So click add a server, create my own. Then click on for me and my friends. Of course, it's going to be only for you. Server. So yeah, name it whatever you want, create it, and so on. Now, to this server, we want to add first the Mid Journey bot. So I'm going to go there to where is Mid Journey? Here, it's Mid Journey. Here it is. Don't worry about all this crap. Just go to Mid Journey here, left click it, click on it, and click on Add to Server. And now you're going to select the server that you just created. Okay, click continue, authorize. Yes, I'm a human. Okay, good. We've added it to our server. Now, that's bot number one. But we need another one that's going to be the face swapping bot. So you think about this as you are adding a couple of your robot friends here. So. I'm going to provide you the link to that face rock swapping robot in the description of this video. Now, once you click on the link, you'll see something like this. Okay, inside face. Now select your server again. Okay, this one. Click continue. Click on authorize. And success. Well, yeah, I, I've added it to the wrong server. So, continue, authorize, I'm a human. And there you have it, it's in our server. Now, uh, 
the next step that we want is you want to add your own image so you you got to search for a, a picture that's that's clear i'm gonna upload something and let's see i'm gonna go with this jpeg image sometimes now if you have an iphone and you're sending it from your iphone sometimes it's gonna give you this h i e c image hack hake i don't know and that's not working with mid journey you have to convert it to jpeg so it has to be a jpeg image i'm gonna use this one again i'm gonna click, click on open and i'm gonna just hit, click return and now it's uploaded good um, but actually not good because actually i should have pushed the backspace then click on saved uh saved thing let's save and let's let me show you that again okay backspace and it's and it, i mean f forward space so what is it and then it's showing you this these kind of prompts so you have to click if it's not showing you you click on s and it's already showing you then the saved id name save id click on it and you want to add your id so i'm going to just add um, uh, your id just add the name just add the short name s s4 A, sh a longer one then um Szilard six option require a specific value Szilard G of course we need to upload the image first upload the image and now we add the uh, the name good so now what we can do is we want to create a really cool prompt so we're gonna hit, hit forward slash again imagine and let's see if yeah and now i'm gonna create a, a viking warrior uh, bald cyberpunk close up so this is important looking at camera is important ultra realistic is important if you're looking for that style but the most important part is this that it's going to give you the thumbnail resolution click return and mid journey is going to create now the thumbnail for us and i'm going to just drink a bit of water and relax next time when i make a video and i take these pauses just let me know if you want them to cut them out if you if you don't like these pauses i'll cut them out but I, I sometimes i really like to make videos where it's like sitting down with me and having a talk we're not in a hurry we want to make sure that we do this right and we get all the steps okay so let's see our viking warrior so our viking warrior is looking interesting yeah i like this one so we go with option three and we're gonna upscale this one option three now once i have the upscaled version things are gonna be simple right click on the image go to apps and click on in swapper and let's see what it creates for us it should add my it kind of added my face yeah i think because of the tattoos it has some issues yeah it added my face but the tattoos are messing with it a bit so let's go with this one maybe this has le this has only one tattoo let's go with option number four 
So this is how you have to play with it. It's it, you test, test, and test until you find a version that looks good. Okay, now this one is looking good. I think this is more realistic. And if we scale this up, this is this is pretty good. It can be better, and you can play around with it and test it and so on until you find a shot that is really good. Okay, so with that said, we have our we have our image and. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just select the image that I like the most. Uh, this one, I like this one. I'm going to click on open in browser. Save image. going to download this one. And now we want to add the text. Now, it's pretty simple to add text in it. But there are a couple of important things. I'm going to go to Canva. I'm gonna create and click create a design YouTube thumbnail and I'll just drag and drop this image up of course we have it already here I'll just scale this up a bit like this boom 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 good now we want to add some text text mm. I'll go with some basic text. AI. Let's go with AI thumbnail. And what I want is to have some contrast. And because of that, I'm going to add um, a shape here. Let's make the shape smaller like this so it's covering just the thumbnail and we can change the color of the shape to white now let's make this thumbnail smaller i, I mean i'm just scaling the view up i want to make sure that when i'm looking at this thumbnail i can clearly see the text i can easily read it and i can also understand exactly what is going on so it should make me curious but I should be able to read the entire text with let's make it a little bit bigger I should be able to read the text with on my phone I think this is looking already good yeah so Uh, this is going to be good enough. Yeah, I'll keep it like this. AI thumbnail. Boom. So what you can do is next download this image, share, download, and download it. And then you add it to YouTube. And bam, there you have it. You have your very own YouTube thumbnail that is going to get you lots of clicks now the thing is that youtube thumbnails are just one part of your video well talking about videos where's your video how do you make your video well if you want to know exactly how you can make your videos let me show you we have an ai creators club that you can sign up for and I'll show you how you can create videos like this but also animated videos I'll show you also how you can create faceless videos as a bonus here we have a couple of really cool bonuses I'll show you how you create faceless videos and I'll show you also what AI tools are essential for video creation okay 
check it out i have the link in the description and if you enjoyed this video then please let me know write a comment and but this is i'm not just saying this as all youtubers yeah i really like those comments i like reading the comments and it it feels good it, i feel like okay i'm connecting with you and yeah you you're you you're enjoying my content because sometimes i have no idea i just see there are hundreds of people who are watching the video but I don't know. Do they like these videos? Do they want me to make more? If you do want me to make more of these videos, just let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.